And Trump was even more direct in a tweet that he fired off this morning. It said, quote, if Hillary thinks she can unleash her husband with his terrible record of women abuse while playing the women's card on me, she's wrong, exclamation. Let's bring in our panel now. Steve Hayes, senior writer for the Weekly Standard, Karen Tumulty, national political correspondent for The Washington Post, and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Well, if, if this turns out to be a Trump nominee versus Hillary Clinton race, uh, I can imagine this race descending deeper and deeper into the morass, Charles. It's already way down there. You have to have a shovel to find it. Um, look, I think this is not about Hillary. I think tr Trump is not firing off the first shot in the general election. This is all aimed at the Republican nominating process. By taking her on as the foil, he plays the presumptive Republican nominee. He elevates himself above all the others. He's been shooting at all the others for six months. And now he says, I'm done. I've, I've been able to knock them all down. I've got a 21-point lead, which he boasts about all the time. And now he's going to show that he's a man. In a way, it's to, to sort of to get the country prepared for him to be the standard bearer. Uh, this is, you know, this is a, a bold and risky proposition that he... That, uh, uh, way to do this. But I think it works for him in the sense that it makes everyone else look small. No one is talking about anybody else. And in one sense, it says to the Republican electorate, you know, we've talked about this, you've talked about this quietly. Rand DePaul raised it at the beginning of his campaign, mm -hmm. and then he backed off. I'm the only guy who will do this and who has sort of the, the moxie to go ahead and to do it and not be afraid. And I think that's, this is all about him rising above the other candidates on the Republican side. It's not an engagement in a real general election campaign yet. He's using her as a foil, and I must say, effectively. Uh, Karen, Charles said 